What is pressure in tennis? The perception of the player that they don't have what it takes to overcome the situation they're in. The situation that we're going to talk about is the fear of missing serves. Serving under pressure is really, really uncomfortable and a lot of people are struggling with, me included. And in this video, I'm going to show you what you can do to withstand that pressure. And it doesn't really matter whether you are a 3-0 club player and you're playing in front of two people at your club tournament or me playing Martina Navratilova in front of 5,000 people and you fall on your face. You will feel pressure. I actually did slip and fall on my face. Before we get to drills that you can do to prepare yourself, let's talk about what people usually do when they feel pressure. We rush, uh, your heart rate might go through your neck, basically. You're feeling super tight, you're getting negative. Those are all signs of, yep, yeah, you guessed it, the good old fight or flight response. When you're serving under pressure, I usually see one of two responses. One is that people get super tentative and they're literally just bumping the ball in. They're hoping, they're praying that the ball goes in and they're also praying that the opponent is not gonna slap a winner. The other reaction I've seen is that people think they have to do something super special and they rush and they're hitting the ball way too hard because they think they can hit an ace and they wanna get out of that situation in the quickest way possible. So the second that you're feeling either getting super tight, you're starting to get really negative, or you're starting to really breathe rapidly and shallowly, take some deep breaths, go back to the back fence, take your time, do not do this. <laughs> Don't rush. Don't run around like a chicken with its head cut off. Take your time before your first serve, or if you miss your first serve, do not rush the second. Take a deep breath, resettle, then take your second serve. Adjust your pace. Instead of trying to hit an ace with 200 miles per hour, go for a mix between first and second. So about 80, 85% of what you can serve full pace. That's what you want to use and add a lot more spin. Spin and reducing a little bit of the pace will still allow you to hit the ball fluidly and not... <sighs> guide the ball in. Complete this sentence for me. Practice makes, if you said practice makes you perfect, I disagree with that. I practiced a lot and I was far from perfect. But what it did do when I prepared and yeah, kind of foresaw any eventuality that happened, I felt confident. Practice makes you confident. People do just not practice the way they play matches. It's that simple. And then getting into a pressure situation and you're experiencing that, what, once a month or so? No wonder you're not prepared. The other thing really is we just don't work enough on serves. And if we do work on serves, um, I'm seeing a lot of this happening. There's no focus, there's no purpose, and again, you're not preparing yourself for what you feel in a match. Go out and try to replicate match situations as much as possible. It is almost impossible to recreate that feeling of stress, but at least we want to get up there as much as we can. And I know getting a bucket and serving you know, by yourself is not really sexy, but you know what is sexy? Serving well under pressure. So here are a couple of drills that you can do by yourself. And then later I'm also gonna show you a couple of drills that you can do if you do have a partner. And I'm starting with one way to add pressure. Film yourself. A lot of people really don't like seeing themselves on film because they feel they don't look good or it's awkward or something. And that alone adds pressure. So here's the first drill. So you're trying to go for eight out of 10 balls because I think it's not necessarily realistic to go 10 out of 10. Would be phenomenal, but not really realistic. So I always went with eight out of 10. And depending on your level, choose the appropriate target. So for some of us, it can be that just making it into the box counts as, yep, made one ball. The other could be that you're dividing it into threes so a T-serve, body serve, and a wide serve, or just simply go half. So really depending on your level, kind of challenge yourself, but still keep it realistic. So you hit your serve. If you make it, one nothing, and so on and so forth. So here's the pressure point. Let's say you serve two balls in and you miss one already. You're missing another. So you're at two, two. 
you already missed your two allowed misses. So now you have to make every other single serve. And if you don't, you have to start over. Uh, let's go with wide kick. All right. Okay, so you have to make eight out of 10. All right, I was on the roll there. <laughs> yeah, on, on the wrong half. Okay, so zero one. Ooh, zero two, and that is where you now have the pressure, you have to make eight out of the remaining eight. And if you miss, again, you have to start over. And I just heard him say, man, and I don't know if you caught that with the body language, frustration, and that's exactly what you wanna create. Frustration, little bit tension, that's the only way you can recreate that in practices. This was all nice and dandy and great, but when was the last time you served in a match and then immediately went back and got a ball. Are we missing something? So here's what we do to make it more realistic. So you always want to practice the way that you play. And yeah, if I don't have somebody returning the ball, let's at least shadow one more ball. What I want basically is that you hit your serve and then react because it is easier to just do this. Right, at least let's force ourselves to have one more movement. The next one is a classic, I think. Uh, you're still going for 10 serves, but this time you're finishing your 10 serves. But for every ball that you're missing, you are being punished. And one drill that I actually really like, well, really hate it, um, is the spider drill, because it actually is very relevant to tennis. And what you're doing here, you're also adding fatigue to it. If you're getting tired, you're losing focus, you're getting negative, you're getting really miffed off, and yeah, that might cause you to miss more, which puts pressure on you. And that's exactly what you want. Uh, note to self, don't do push-ups. Makes no sense. I don't think my arms ever got tired because in a point I pushed 160 pounds. I got tired because I had to run. So don't tire yourself out the wrong way. The next thing you can do to add pressure on it is if you do have somebody with you, you can play for something. You can, for instance, play for uh, who picks up the balls or who has to sweep the courts, something like that. So next drill is we're playing points, games, regular counting. You only have one serve and it's sudden death. So decisive point, but we're not playing the sudden death point on deuce. We'll play it on add right, yeah. because we don't play enough add points. Uh, that was a not good return. If you want to learn more how to really successfully and effectively work on your serve, check out this video.